Dear Tommy, I'm sending you an item from a personal collection of mine. Before you find out what it is, I want you to know that it's clean and not a health hazard. It's time for another edition of Guess What's in the Mail. This is where you guys send stuff in, I open it, and try and guess what's inside. Let's get into it. Here's the first one. Tommy, this is from Jessica. Hi, Tommy, you make me so happy. Oh, he's awfully furry. He's nice, not much of a smell to him or her, but I feel like it sits up this, oh, it's got a tail on the back and a ribbon around the neck. That couldn't be a dog because these front are too short here and it's absolutely got feet, but it's supposed to sit up. It's not a bird. They don't sit like this, but is it a bunny rabbit? That is incorrect. I'll say kitty cat, that's wrong. That's wrong, one more time. I'm gonna try something completely different. I'm gonna say it's a human. That's incorrect. No, huh? What is he? It's a teddy bear. That's a bear? See, I didn't think a bear would sit up like this, but this is just me, I have a bear question. Don't bears use four feet to get around? Yes, that's a stuffed animal. They, they're, they're characters. So Berenstein bears didn't walk around on all fours, they walked on two like humans. Oh, okay, okay. See, I, this I didn't know. I just read the tag, the tag that's hanging off its ear. What does it say? It says, Aurora baby. <laughs> Hi Tommy, most sighted people don't even know what this is, but I think you'll love it. Try to guess what it could possibly be. Love, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. I, all right, so it's a, it's a round thing. It's got a handle. It has all these different sort of uh, like tentacles or, or I don't quite know what you would call these things, but it feels like a whisk, but it feels like a very giant whisk. Some ends are longer than others. Does it stand on its own? It kind of does, but the handle, I'm gonna say this is a whisk. That's incorrect. This I is want to get one a hint? Yeah, please. This could make someone feel better. This could make someone feel better? Is this like a massager? That's correct, it's a scalp massage. That's a scalp massager, wow, sure I get that, okay. Wow, Jackie, thank you very much. Try it. Okay, what do you do, like this? Yeah. I don't want to mess up my hair or anything, but uh, oh, this is dynamite. How does it feel? Thing. It's like someone's scratching my head. That's fantastic. All right, let me turn this over. Wow, it's Braille. This is big giant Braille. That's my name. That's Tommy, E-D-I-S-O-N. And down here, it says experience. This is the Tommy Edison experience. And I, wow wee. So this is the Tommy Edison experience in print down here on the bottom. But and I what's in the middle? I'm feeling a triangle, sort of a triangle thing with a point coming off to the right, a shorter point in the center. The center and the left are the same length and the point on the right is a little bit longer. But I don't quite know what this is. Is this the logo? No. Yeah, I'm not sure what this what this middle part is. That's you. This is me? That's an outline of you walking. It is the logo. It is the logo. Wow, how cool is this? So these are my two feet and this is the cane. Yeah, that's right. <gasps> that's awesome. So the guy who made this, he's called the 3D Print General on YouTube and he has a channel and he made a video where he showed you how he made a bunch of stuff and sent them out to different YouTubers, including you. We'll put a link for that in the description. Sean in San Diego, this is amazing. Thank you so much for this. Dear Tommy, I wanted to send an item as a token of my appreciation. I hope you are able to figure it out. If you don't get it at first, here are some clues that Ben can give you. It's two pieces. There's one stick, and then there's one piece that sort of comes off of the stick. It's very soft to the touch. It's almost like there's um, some sort of material on it, like almost fuzz. And you know what it feels like? like? Like, it's almost like a key, but it's it's not. All right, well, where are some clues? Didn't Robert say that? What do you mean, some... a key? Well, like, like almost like a key for a door. Oh, when you said key, I thought you meant something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God, wait a minute. I know exactly what this is. It's a, pia it's a mallet from the inside of a piano. If you give up, the answer is a piano hammer. What a nutty thing, that's great. I need 87 more and a bunch of strings. <laughs> nice one, Robert, thank you so much. So you have felt the inside of a piano. I used to take the front off the piano when I was a kid. Check it out from bottom to top and just try and figure out how it all worked. Because I was fascinated. We interrupt this YouTube video for a special announcement. Hey, I want to give a big thank you to Audible who helped make this video possible. Now they have a huge library of audiobooks which you can download and listen to anytime. And I like it because you know it's a great alternative to Braille and it's a lot easier to listen. 
The book I just finished is called The Gospel According to Chris Moyles. Now he's a disc jockey from the UK that I've been a fan of for quite a long time. And one of the things I learned from this book is what a great Howard Stern fan he was. In fact, he called himself the savior of Radio One sort of after Howard had started calling himself the king of all media. So if you want to try Audible, maybe there's been an audiobook you've been thinking about, now is a good time because you can get a 30-day trial and a free audiobook just by going to audible.com slash Tommy. And if you have any suggestions for a book you think I ought to check out, let me know in the comments. So this package is from Kim Loft in Denmark. Hi Tommy, I really enjoy watching your videos and your laugh and smile spread happiness. In my country and many others I'm sure, we have a disability that translates directly into quote unquote word blind. I do not quite know what the correct word is in English. So I thought I had to send you a little package that has something to do with blindness in a way. Wow, okay, this has a very rough texture. It's very, almost like a rock or a stone. This thing's sticking out of the top here. It's kind of an oblong shape. I feel like maybe it's a bird on a perch. I don't know why I say that. Well, I feel because there's two things here at the bottom and it doesn't really have a bird type of face, but this is a wild thing. I'm not quite sure what this is. I'll guess, I'll, I'll say, I feel like it's a bird perched on a rock. That's incorrect, it's not a bird. Here comes the first clue. The creator of this character that this statue is derived from was also word blind. His name was Hans Christian Andersen. Hans Christian Andersen, so, oh boy. I don't know all my Hans Christian Andersen. The skater? You're saying it's a skater? Yeah. That's incorrect. Is there another clue in the letter? Clue, there is a clue, but it's, you already know it. It's from Denmark. No, I don't, I have no idea what this is, but I really, I like it. I like the texture of it a lot, but I feel like it's a person standing on a rock. Well, it is a person, sort of. Okay. It's a mini statue of the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid? I didn't know Hans Christian Andersen wrote that. <laughs> we'll recommend you hear the original story with her, not Disney's Little Mermaid. So it's like a nude woman sitting oh. on a stone wow. with something in her hand. I can't quite see what that is. Yeah. Maybe something to cover her up so she doesn't get arrested. <laughs> Dear Tom and Ben, I've had this object since I was about 14 and now I'm 35. I no longer have any particular use for it, so when I saw the Guess What's in the Mail challenge, I immediately wondered if you'd be able to figure out what it is. A loyal fan, Ellen. I feel like, you know what? I feel like this is a guitar. I feel like this is a, like a yep, this is absolutely like a, a guitar or bass. Or maybe a banjo. There's only four strings, because there's tuning pegs on either end. Perhaps a violin. Yeah, I'm gonna say violin. Correct, it's a violin. Nice. Ellen, this is fantastic, thank you so much. Hey, I know what this is. This is a fidget cube. That's right. Piece of cable. It's like an iPhone charger, but it's not. I feel like that's USB, and I feel like that end is iPhone, but it's not like an official one. But I do, I feel like this is an iPhone charger. Lightning to USB cable. That's, that's, that's iPhone. Yeah, this right. is great, yeah. You can't have too many of those, can you? I feel like this is a vehicle of some sort, right? It's got the four wheels. It's a low vehicle, big giant windows in the sides, big wheels too. Wow, what the heck is this? But my finger fits into it perfectly. So what would that thing be that goes along with it that you hold in your hand? The walkie-talkie or something? To, like a police car and this is the radio? I There's a wire hanging off of it. There's a wire, there's a little antenna. So what would that be? It'd be um, like a walkie-talkie, a radio, a, um, yeah. No. No. <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> That's a remote. A remote, oh this is a remote control car. Oh, and this is the remote, but wow we Are batteries included? <laughs> Dear Tommy, I'm excited to see you opening my present from Finland. You once mentioned that you love, and I'm gonna stop there because that's gonna give away what it is. Wow, this has a very strange feeling. Now, I don't know if this is wrapped or not. No, that's it. I just squeezed it, it yeah, no, I just squeezed it and I felt like something gave a little bit. So I feel like I shouldn't have squeezed it. Oh no, there's all sorts of, like there's buttons inside. Monica from Finland, I think you've stumped me here, Monica. It's not quite round, it's sort of, almost oval shaped, but I can't quite tell what it is. I mean, again, I've got this sort of rubbery smell. This is very strange. It's not a tomato. It's not an apple. Is it a potato? Like a rubber potato. But why would you want a rubber potato? That is incorrect. This is handmade in Finland. It's a snowball. That's a snowball. Sure, I get that. Finland is famous for Santa Claus, but did you know snowballs play a part 
in our winter traditions, that snowball both feels and sounds like real snow. That's what the noise is when you push on it. That's really interesting. So Monica was saying, I'm excited to see you opening my present from Finland. You once mentioned you love the sound of stepping on fresh snow. But it's really, I mean, if you squeeze it, it does make the sound of snow. It's very cool. So Listen, there you can you hear this? Listen. Like it has some give to it. This is very strange. I like this. Dear Tommy, I'm sending you an item from a personal collection of mine. Before you find out what it is, I want you to know that it's clean and not a health hazard. Oh, Once boy. you figure it out, read the back of this note. It's a, it's a very strange texture. It's neat. I like touching it and I feel like it goes this way. Oh, wait a minute. It comes up. Oh my God. That's an animal. Is that, uh, well, let's see, hold on. Is that a crocodile? Wow, look at the mouth. Oh, look at the long front tooth. Holy smokes, this thing's great. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a, a crocodile. That's incorrect. Want a hint? Yes, please. It would like your garbage. Uh, is it, is it a uh, raccoon? That's correct. That's a raccoon head? I've never seen one before. <gasps> this is a raccoon skull that died of natural causes on my dad's farm. I found it and properly cleaned it. This is from Wit. From Wit in Nebraska. Nicely done, Wit. Hey, Tommy and Ben. My name is Tanner, and I live in Montgomery, Alabama. I have enclosed a mystery item for Tommy to guess. This looks like a bottle of sorts, right? I would say, like it's a little, um, I would say this is a little beer bottle. This is like an airplane bottle of booze, maybe? Nope, I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. This is a replica or a, of a Coca-Cola bottle. That's correct. He also sent us a gift card and there's braille on it. Can you tell me what the braille says? Sure can. The braille says Starbucks. Boy, good for them, they have braille cards. That's great. That's a Starbucks card. And I never knew it was S-T-A-R-B-U-C-K-S. I thought it was X. Nice one, Tanner, thank you so much. Hey Tommy, it's your old pal George Lefty. Love watching the videos. Me and my coworker wanted to submit something for you to open. Use it in good health. Talk soon, George Lefty Wright. Nice. That's an old disc jockey friend of mine. It's a, it's a, um, it's like a human face. Like I feel like this is a bobblehead doll. That's correct. Nice. But I don't know of who. The head feels like, um, like it's somebody who's like maybe bald. Oh, there's a hat. There's a, a, a baseball cap. There's the two hands here off to the, the like out, outstretched. I'm, I'm gonna say it's uh, like a member of the New York Mets, I'll say. That's correct. A big smile. The head is actually a baseball. It's a mascot bobble. It's a ma Mr. Met himself. Wow, this is awesome. Thank you very much. This is from A. Morrison in the UK. This is amazing. I already know. There is all sorts of candy from the UK in this box. Because I mentioned that I like UK chocolates much better than I like things um, from the US. Well, I felt the chocolate bar on the left-hand side here because it's rectangle, right? Now this has um, some braille on it, so let me turn it around so I have it the right way. This is playing cards inside. Wow, braille playing cards. Can you tell us what that first card is? I feel like these are very old. Oh, this is the Ace of Spades. That's correct. You can tell it smells old too. So let's look at all the different things that are in here. So there's this. Greetings from Aberdeen, Scotland in the United Kingdom. As a big candy fan, I thought you might enjoy a treat or two. So in the box, there are various items of British candy for you to try out if they've survived their flight. Try not to eat them all at once. Also enclosed is a British antique I came across that hopefully you might appreciate. Keep smiling, Aileen. That's incredible, thank you so much. We're gonna, listen, this is gonna be all fun to eat, trust me. Well, it's Braille. It says hip hop hooray with a bunch of exclamation points at the end. And what does the front feel like? I feel like there's a uh, somebody like a person over here on this on the left hand side, and I feel like there's the same kind of a thing over on the right hand side. Now it's got all sorts of dots and different things around it. Let's open it up and see what it says inside. Hi Tommy, I hope you like this card that you and your sighted friends can enjoy. Yay inclusion! Thanks. This is from Karen and Tana. That's lovely, thanks you guys. Love what you do, Tommy, keep up the great show. 3D printed something for you. Do you think 3D printing will have an impact on your life? Rude from the Netherlands. Nice one, Rude. It's very intricate design. Okay, so there's two lines off the bottom here. One is slightly longer than the other. 
and this top sort of ovally part here and a circle in the middle. I feel like this could almost be ah, like a face almost. And then the whole thing itself, I feel like maybe it's, it's a human, like it's a little person. Wait a minute, I just had an idea now. This round, this sort of oval part here and the round bit in the middle, I don't feel like this bottom part has too much to do with it. I feel like this is the YouTube play button. That's incorrect. That is incorrect. Oh good, all right. <laughs> I thought I had this great revelation. Holding it sideways now. Holding what are you, it sideways now. What are you feeling there now? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this is print? That's right. <gasps> oh my God, this is my name. That's Tommy, right? Because the Y down here. There you go. The thing that was you thought was the play button uh -huh. is an eye. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It actually functions as something, I believe. Like a name tag. It looks like to me it's a bookmark. A bookmark. Oh, I would never even think. Sure. That, oh, this would be a good bookmark. Sure. Wow, Rude. Thank you very much. It's a container of something. I suppose I'm going to just open it up and see if I can tell what's inside. It's sort of smushy. I don't, I'm like, I'm afraid to open this part. It smells like, it's very chemically, but it feels like it's Play-Doh or some kind of thing like this. It's very stretchy. It's warm, but it feels good in my hand. You know, I can certainly make things with it, but it sticks to me. I, it's putty of some sort. Okay, it's called hand mud. Bounce, stretch, tear, shape, shatter, and play. Science putty is fun for all. Mold it into any shape you want. And we don't know who sent this. Thank you so much. I, <laughs> just what I always wanted. <laughs> so it's a tall, fat, kind of a plastic bottle, but I feel like um, the top of it, you could almost like drink out of the top, right? That's, well, it's almost like the top could be a shot glass. From the shape of the bottle, well, it could be like syrup comes in a bottle like this, doesn't it? Like pancake syrup. That'd be my guess for just a first guess. No, that's incorrect. No. Like booze doesn't come in a bottle like this. You want to open it and smell it? Yeah. Maybe it is booze. Look at the top has to, holy smokes. That's booze, all right. That's some type of whiskey, I'm going to say. What is that? Bacardi rum. That's Bacardi rum. Okay, here's the other thing that was in this box. Now it looks like I can just slide it right out of here. It's made of wood. It appears to be, it's a tray. Oh no, but what's, Wow, what's all this? So I feel like there's designs on this, but all right, so this is kind of circular. Like that one's definitely like a three quarters of a circle. Over here, I can't really get what this is here. I feel like it's a picture of something. That's correct. Yay, of what? My name is Natalie and I am an artist and crafter and captain of the Sky Demon Air Pirates. Nice. I don't know what those are, but you're the captain, so that's pretty good. I thought about how I could try and make you a piece of artwork that you could appreciate, given the circumstances. Amazing. So let me tell you what it is. It's facing us right now, Tommy, but it looks like it's a gorilla or ape standing next to a palm tree. Though I don't know if it's a palm tree as much as a banana tree, because those look like little bananas hanging off the edge right there that you're Yeah, touching. right here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really neat. I love it. Thank you so much, Natalie. I mean, pardon me. Thank you so much, Captain Natalie. There's a tiny little thing inside. It's just as teeny as can be. I feel like it's a pendant of some sort. That's correct. I feel like it's a heart. That's a ribbon. That's a ribbon. Dear Tommy Edison, I have watched all the videos on the Tommy Edison Experience YouTube channel, I think. At the moment, I have thyroid cancer and spend quite a bit of time watching YouTube videos. I was wondering, does Tommy know the cancer ribbon shape? It's iconic. I think every cancer uses the ribbon icon in different colors. No, I've, I've never seen this one before, actually. But uh, this is cool. I like this. So, well, this is good. Now, whenever I see this, I'll recognize it. Oh, geez. Amelia, well, listen, we're thinking about you. Much love and thanks. And you're going to beat this thing. Come on, you can do it. Okay, hang on, there's a card for me that says, Tommy, my name is Kylie. Well, I like the way you spell it with two E's. I am five. I want you to have my color sage. So this less is a letter from Kylie's mother. Hi, Tommy, my name is Shauna. I have a daughter named Kylie. She was born with a disease which causes blindness at birth. I love watching your videos. They bring me so much laughter and insight to how my daughter sees the world. Thank you, Tommy. Love Kylie and Shauna. This is a drawing of some sort. A giraffe, okay. So that's an outline of a giraffe in front of a tree. That's the neck. The neck, the right. back of the Look neck. Look at a giant, wow. It's the back of the neck. Ears at the top of the head, and that's the tree. So then you follow back down, see all the round circles going down the neck? 
Those are all the spots on the giraffe. And those are the legs, the body, and then the legs. Kylie and Shona, you guys are the best. Listen, thank you so much. Kylie, you're going to be awesome. You're going to do big things in this world. I just know it. Be careful of giraffes, though. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, oh, I'd love for you to subscribe. And while you're subscribing, go ahead and ring the bell too. This way you'll be notified every time we put up a brand new video. So I don't hear any bells ringing yet. <laughs> Should sound like Christmas for heaven's sakes.